now. Hello, my guys. Thank you so much all for joining us today. That is, uh, if you are new here, and also to the returning viewers, we appreciate so much for the support you have given us this far. Karibu Nisana. Thank you so much. Let's uh, join me as we as I propagate plants today. Today it uh, it's a day that uh, I do propagation, and uh, for those plants that were already in nursery pots, I do the transplanting. Karibun sana, welcome, and uh, let's do this. Let's get started. Here we are all things inspired by nature. So if you're um, interested in uh, anything about nature, please consider subscribing and uh, hit that notification bell so that you get notified anytime we post new videos. Let's nature together. Karibun sana. Today, as, we, as I said, it is transplanting. I was doing some transplanting of uh, some house plants and also for herbs. So for herbs, there are some herbs that were in nursery beds. So I was transplanting them to individuals, small pots. So that then after that, when they get to a given a height, and now again we can still transplant it to now the a bigger pot this is a dump can or you can call it different back here just took the whole plant and uh, i'm gonna also propagate it it is a good part with nature it keeps multiplying it keep giving now with this one plant i can have uh, more than even four or five plants from from it so just cut the the, the can maybe say two or three inch then uh, you you just stick it in the soil you should remove the the leaves because the leaves get uh, you know if you you propagate using the the leaves sometimes uh, the plant instead of focusing on developing new roots it will focus all most of its uh, energy to to leaves so it's good uh, to remove leaves so that the plant now it focus all of its energy to developing new roots instead of it can balance the the growth can just stick it inside there and just forget about it <laughs> you forget and you'll be amazed how much uh, you know for beauty the, the the gardening the beauty of it is just not giving so much attention to plants i understand sometimes you plant and then tomorrow i it happens to me all the time i'm there to notice if i can notice new leaves if i can notice any new growth that is what motivates someone and that is what brings excitement and that joy. It's a joy to see a new leaf coming out. A joy that I cannot even explain it. Now we're done with the, our different back here. It's an indoor plant, a very beautiful one. It becomes very beautiful. Now this is meat. This is how I propagate meat. Uh, actually, I don't even cut the root. I just take the mother plant, the, those ones that are hanging, and then I just put a small pot and I, I bend it and just stick, stick the stem just in the middle or something. And then you cover with the soil and from that point it will develop uh, some roots. Then from there you can cut and separate it from the mother plant. Now here I have propagated three, so these are three more. 
you know, I usually keep some plants for only this purpose. There are plants that I don't pot. I, I usually keep them there so that uh, I know this is where I get my my new babies. I call them mums. They are mums. So this is one of them. It's a mum. I usually get my babies mint from it. Yeah, you can see now. We are done. And we have arranged them there. This is the, I call it a uh, hospital. It's a uh, everything because even when plants are not doing well i usually bring them here and attend to them here is some succulents you can see these ones i propagated them from leaves and now you can see they are already shooting they have some small babies there have a lot of herbs i'll take you through my garden as i i explain about these herbs each at a time yeah all this i have done the propagation today the lemon grass it's amazing that's all for today Thank you so much for watching guys see you all in our next video bye god bless you